Hey folks, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to grow strawberry plants from seed the lazy way. Here are the strawberry seeds. 10 in total, red in color, itty bitty. And we're going to take these seeds and put them in a coffee cup of dirt. Now, if you have a uh, pot or like a planting pot that has a hole at the bottom, you can use that too, but I don't have one of those. So I'm just going to use a regular coffee cup that no one wants. And then I'm going to get some water. I'm going to put that in the dirt and let that sink down. Hmm, it takes some time. I can see why people would want to use potting mix. The water gets absorbed faster. Oh well, it should be fine. Just get enough water to get the dirt wet. And then you just Sprinkle the seeds on top. If I can pick them up. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna strategically place them in the dirt so that when they grow bigger, they don't tangle with each other. I'll just put it there. Okay, didn't forget any, right? Uh, okay. If you want a closer look, let's zoom in. You can probably see some red dots where the seeds are. All right. And so I've done this before. And in my uh, cursory research on the interwebs, people have said to cover the seeds with a thin layer of dirt and other sites have said, don't even bother. And since I'm lazy, I'm not going to bother with more dirt. You could also push the seeds down with a toothpick. But I feel like the seeds... Oops, uh oh. Uh, will be okay. Just like this. And what we're going to do next is... Take a large vessel that can contain this pot of dirt and seeds. Oops. Well, my vessel is a little too high, as you can see. So it's going to be harder to get my pot out. Um, so I'm just going to give it a shallower base by putting in a, another glass cup. And let's see how that goes. Dangerous stuff working with ceramics and glass. My finger stuff. Okay. <laughs> and there we are. And what we're going to do next is place a covering on top. And so in the end, it looks something like this. And here we are. This is our makeshift terrarium. It should self water. And you won't have to use any brain power to remember to water your plants because this thing you've made will water itself. The water will evaporate from the dirt, collect on the cover, and then drip back down into the dirt. Uh, but I've noticed that the seeds may be uh, too bare under this intense sunlight, so I'm just going to add a bit more water so that the seeds can sink into the dirt and have a little bit more cover. As for the glass and ceramic containers, they don't have to be glass and ceramic. They can be plastic. I know they're more convenient and easier to find and cheaper. But I don't trust plastic in the sunlight. Anyway. Uh, so keep it covered, and uh, I'll see what happens.